But you don't think I'm lying, so no. I don't think so. And oh, this is a question that I forgot to ask in relationship to the library. Do you have as well um, texts in local languages? Yes, we do have lots of them. So okay. we are now working vigorously on that, right? Trying to at least encourage you know, the sizable and the sizable chunk of our population, you know, that have been marginalized, you know, that have been left out, you know, to at least enjoy the joys that we derive from reading. You know. mm -hmm. So we have been and are still collecting okay, Gambian literature in the local languages. Mm -hmm. So we encourage them to come out with this and uh, buy as many copies mm -hmm. of what they produce as well. And do you find that there are increasing numbers of texts in the local languages? Oh yes, there are increasing numbers. Mm -hmm. It is amazing, yes, there mm -hmm. are increasing numbers, especially by these local NGOs, one thing specifically of Bafro, they are very, very prominent in various types of literature, especially a literature like on um, women's issues, on women's health, you know. They also come up with stories involved in literacy as well. Work also, I think it's West African Evangelical Mission or whatever, I think, have been pioneers in writing, local language writing, especially in Jola language, yeah, from the beginning of literacy, mm -hmm. from the beginners, you know, up to advanced literacy stage, you know. They cover not only religion, but culture and social aspects of life in the Gambia, okay, and the like. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the current literacy rate is in the country? The current literacy is about 35% from what I heard. I am not very sure whether that um, also includes those who are literate. Maybe it does include in the, in, in the, in the local languages. Yeah. Mm. But uh, records show that. Mm. Yeah. What do you... Um, what are some common themes that you see in Gambian literature? Okay, it's basically like if I start with the Ibu Dibas, you know, like about life during colonial era, you know, about politics, about social issues currently, about uh, another good one that I read that's by, by Sabali, you know, it's about university life, you know, and uh, escapism, like especially escapism, mm -hmm. about, you know, enlightening, the, en enlightening them about the harmful effects of drugs, about um, harmful practices against women, you know, and the like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think those are basically, okay. And what would you say is the relationship between Gambian literature and the literature of the African continent as a whole? Yeah, it's uh, basically the same because you will find that the social issues, the political situations are basically, you know, the same. You know, like you can read a book that is published, say, for instance, in, in Uganda and then try connect them with what happens here in the, in the Gambia. Like there was an interesting book, I think, by uh, by a Kenyan, which I thought was even quoted, like in a poem by um, Sala, by Mr. Sala, Dr. Sala, Tijan Sala, the word, you know, Wabenzi. You know, we had here something like this, Wabenzi, that was like, you know, the elite who are coming up, you know, the social climbers who are coming up called Wabenzi, like those are people that had master these benzes and the like. So we had something like that, you know, in our local language as well, it could also sound the same like Wabenzi, you know, Borom Benzi, you know, and the like. So basically, uh, the issues are the same, the conditions, you know, are the same. I think that explains the popularity of these um, 
pay setters, the Macmillan pay setters, you know, mm -hmm. which we cannot have enough of, you mm -hmm. know, they just go like hotcakes to such an extent that, you know, we have to exercise extra control, otherwise, you know, we would not get them again, you know, you know people will take them and um, exchange them, you know, amongst their friends and the like, uh, or even keep them, you know, because of, you know, uh, maybe uh, the dart of interesting reading material, you know, of that genre. Mm -hmm. I think we are seeing that, we've noticed that we talk a lot that um, there is an absence of reading culture, but I don't believe that I would subscribe to that. If you have interesting books, they say, give the people what they want. It's just like music or whatever, you know. Find out what they want, let them know that it is available, then they would consume them. They would consume them. It's a matter of availability. Mm -hmm. And when you say, kind of give the people what they want and people are looking for interesting books, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit more about what that might, what that might mean? What, what a book would be about that would be interesting? For okay, books reading. that have backgrounds that they can relate to easily, cultural backgrounds that they can easily relate to books that talk about issues, you know, that affect them, you know, in the country. Books that they wanted, you know, especially, you know, like um, the ladies that come to the library. They want romances, for instance, you know. Not so much, you know, into the serious stuff, you know. You call the historical pulp fiction and the like. It, that is what they want. Um, there is no need to emphasize on like the classics and the like. If it's short, simple, or even if it's children's book, yeah, that's what we go for. Give it to them. Maybe from that, they would develop perhaps to reading, you know, more serious books, you know, more advanced, more advanced books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who? What authors or what texts particularly would you say represent the best of Gambian writing? Um, I would, Ibu Dima is one of them. You've got Fafa, for instance. Um, Nana Gray Johnson's, like the Magic Calabash and the Eye of Ebony. Um, Ah, okay. Another book, yeah, it's not fiction, but which, um, which I really enjoyed reading, and I'm sure lots of Gambia did enjoy reading, it's the book by uh, Sabali, it's Jangi Jolof, I think, mm -hmm. and the best so far, which I can never maybe stop wanting to read, Meet Me in Conakry by uh, is it Sar? Yes, Sheriff Sar. Mm -hmm. I think that has been a classic. Mm -hmm. Really hard. has been in great demand not only in the Gambia but I think throughout Africa. Mm -hmm. Throughout Africa. It's an adventure book which yeah children and young people of a certain age really can really um, identify with I think, yes, it might be Pulp Fiction or whatever, but I think it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very good, but very relevant, yeah. And would you, are there any um, promising younger writers that you're seeing coming up? Yes, I see uh, Mariama Khan, and Bamba Khan. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sally Singate as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you could just talk a little bit about the publishing situation in the country, because that of course relates to mm -hmm. the availability of books as well. Yeah, okay. Like um, the publishing situation, like I said, cannot be described as being very developed but it is still developing you know more books are being published although self-published 
you know, like um, budding writers are coming up, you know, um, pub wanting to publish books for themselves, right? Although it's not basically, you know, as good as, you know, what would have been provided or done by these professional publishers. But again, some publishers, Gambian publishers, are also coming up, you know, good publishers. One is talking about, you know, for the Balde, right? Who published, he was a publisher in Nigeria. I think he has started publishing it. He was the one that published the uh, Ripples in the Pool by um, Juka Jabang, and it's very well professionally done. <laughs> Professionally done work, right? It's very good. Uh, he also edits books that are coming out, you know, by Gambians to at least, you know, make them produce good works. Although I think a lot of work really need to be done, you know, on the products, you know, that are coming. It is good to have, you know, Gambian writing, but at least they should try as much as possible, you know, to conform, you know to international standards, but thankfully, like I said, now that, you know, experienced publishers, you know, government publishers have come up, I think uh, the situation is uh, going to improve, you know, a bit. But books are coming out. Mm -hmm. People are really coming out with books. Um, especially, I know this from, you know, the applications that I made for the ISBN, that is the International Standard Book Number, Numbering. We at the National Library, you know, are the uh, national agency for the ISBN. Like, you know, we are always inundated, you know, by uh, demands for up, uh, for these ISBNs, you know, for books that are to come out, you know, by, you know, individual budding, you know, Gambian writers at the library. So they are coming up, really, with mm -hmm. these books. Textbooks, especially, are also coming up. You know, many people are coming up. You know, say that um, they want to publish textbooks and the like. So, uh, especially last year, oh yes, um, yes, I was impressed. You know, by the number of books that were published last year, because you see, we were invited. You know, to attend. Uh, a lot of, you know, maybe book launching, you know, maybe. Perhaps not as great, you know, this year, but last year, particularly, yeah. Yes, I was impressed by the large number of books that were being launched, published in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. You talked about Gambian literature more than once as being in a state of development. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything that you see that that the literature needs in order to boost that development or promote that development? Yeah, they would need perhaps maybe those who are writing the literature need to be trained or trained in book production. You know what to do, what to cater for, what to take on board. You know, working especially with you know editors you know, and the like. So they really need to do, I think, their homework as to what constitutes a book and a relevant, a good and relevant book. They need to do a lot of research as well. It's not just, you know, on, you know, what they think, their experiences and the like. Do real research, you know, every research on, you know, especially themes, you know, that um, that they are trying to portray, you know, in the books that they write. And what, um, if anything, does the National Library need to continue to be uh, an important part of the country? Well, the National Library needs to be strengthened, especially by the central government, we need to be given the resources, like one, trained staff, like equipment, computers, okay, and the like. So we really need to be strengthened to be able to, at least, better serve the people that uh, we are 
supposed to serve. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, what do you see, what do you think the role of literature is in Gambian society? And then whether or not that's the same as what the role of literature should be in Gambian society? Yeah, this very literature, I think, um, its role should really be, you know, to enlighten, you know, to enlighten people, you know, to um, develop their knowledge of life, to um, increase their understanding, um, their ability, you know, to cope with life situations in the country, and uh, thinking, to become a thinking nation like a reading nation, they should be a reading nation, I believe, you know, is a developed nation. So we need literature, you know, we need to read because we do not read, at least to get rid of ignorance. And to get rid of ignorance, one really needs a lot of literature because ignorance, I think, is the cause of most of these evils on the life. So to avert that, I think the uh, need for literature cannot be overemphasized. We really need that. We need it also to be uh, inventive, you know, to be more creative. We need creativity, and you can get that a lot by, you know, reading, you know, empathizing with writers, you know, because it talks about, you know, the experience of writers, you know, where with um, situations, you know, how they have been able to overcome, to conquer, you know, maybe certain challenges, you know, that um, uh, confronted them, you know, in life and the like. So I think we really need literature to fight, to better fight ignorance, to fight, you know, poverty. With reading, one develops, uh, for personal development, one really develops oneself. Mm -hmm. So it's needed for personal development, for social development as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Um, well, these are all of my questions. Is there anything I didn't ask or anything that <laughs> you want to say as well? Yeah. Yes, I guess. Um, Yes, I guess you have, at least for the time being, you asked uh, the right questions. Okay. Uh, what I thought were the right questions. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. I hope um, the interview would be useful in your work. I am sure it will. <laughs>